welcome to Cooking Hawaiian Style. With me this week, Mahalani Annie Richardson. Hi, Thanks for Lamar. joining me. Thanks for having me here. Do you cook at all? Sometimes. Actually, <laughs> I cook a lot for my family. Yeah. But I was pretty much helpless in the kitchen before I had a family. That's okay. We're going to cook. We're going to make some cool stuff today. Before we do that, where are you from? Where am I from? I'm yeah. from right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I don't think a lot of people know exactly what high school did you go to. I went to Kamehameha, 13 years. Ooh, yeah. stand up, sit down, <laughs> sing. Can you sing? Um, you mean Imua? Yeah, anything. No, no. I, I can, but you know, I don't do it for TV. Uh -huh. Only the Gridiron show. Oh, uh, by the way, that was a very good show. Thank uh, you. It's the first time I saw it this year. You did oh, a great thanks. job. thanks. Yes, and uh, what is your favorite food to eat if you uh, didn't cook and you want to go oh, get some? Oh, okay. Well, you know, we're, all, we're making healthy dishes today, uh -huh. but my favorite food to eat would be like deep fried moi or, Ooh. you know, ice cream, you know, all the bad stuff. <laughs> fried <laughs> we're, and we're ice cream. we're doing healthy today. Okay, healthy. Then, uh, have you always been healthy? Mm, no, actually. No. Maybe about 20 years ago, I'd be eating fast food yeah. every day. And, but and you know, as you get older, you kind of want to yeah. be healthier and be live more a better conscious. lifestyle. Absolutely. All right, so today you're going to do a couple different things. So what is the first thing you're going to do? Today? We're going to be making Oscar the Grouch applesauce. That's something that I named myself. And mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even know where applesauce comes from. So we're doing it all homemade. Oh, that's cool. And mm -hmm. the second thing we're going to make today? We're going to be making swamp juice. What is swamp Are juice? you ready for is it? Is it something from prison? Uh, no, <laughs> it's going to be green. It's going to be very, very green, but it's going to taste good, actually. Okay, and then what else are you making today? And we're going to be making homemade popcorn. That I bet good. you never had homemade I'm popcorn. Not, you know what? I Come to think about it, all I did was the one with the thing and then yeah, you the pun, popper one. Yeah, and then you shake it. You're making it at home, so that's kind of homemade. Uh, that's kind of no? homemade popcorn. No, I mean like real homemade popcorn. And once you eat this, you're never going to want to eat microwave really? popcorn again. All right. I promise you. Okay, you heard that. She yeah. promised. Let's start. We're All right. Start cutting some apples. Okay, let's cut some apples. All right. Can you do this one? And uh, you uh, you were a uh, former Miss Hawaii, weren't you? What? No? You know, people ask me that all you, the time. You were? Were you in a no. pageant? I did the junior Miss Pageant when I Does, was in high see, school. Maybe that's what it was. They, everyone remembers that. See no, the impression you just no. made? No. <laughs> I didn't win, though. I was a loser. No, <laughs> yes. you don't say that. Are you now? Are you uh, still at KITV for? No, What's the deal? I I literally just left KITV and now I'm at Shriners Hospitals for Children. I'm the public relations director. That's cool. Has that so, been? How's that been? It's been really good. I just started, so we had our 90th anniversary party. So all of the kids were there. I was literally there for a week. And you got your first. Meeting. And I had a public event to do, but it was really rewarding, and yeah. so I'm really glad that I made this move. Are you missing doing the news? I'm really happy with my job, and I'm really happy that you asked me to do this. So no, I'm just, glad you came. So I, I'm cutting it uh, just in fours yeah. or in six. You is know, my good? technique is terrible. That's Your right. technique is probably better than mine. Just take the seeds out. Just, okay. We're making kids' food, so, you know, kids don't care what it looks like. How'd you come up with this? I actually learned this from a good friend of mine named Ashley at Baby Awareness. Uh -huh. And um, when I first started making foods for kids, uh -huh. I, I was pretty much clueless. And I'm thinking, you know, I gotta make stuff for my son that actually looks good, tastes mm -hmm. good. Because if you've ever seen baby food of in the course. jar, yes. it Doesn't smells look so bad. And if you tasted it, right. it tastes kind of... Isn't it weird you eat baby food when you're born and then when you're ready to check out, you eat it again? It's absolutely. So does he love this? Yeah, he eats it yeah. now. And so, you know, a lot of people wonder, okay, we're making Oscar the Grouch applesauce. There's kale in it. Oh, is and, that where you got the Oscar from? Yeah. yeah. I've, you know, you got to name something that's kind of fun for the kids. All right. So you're kind of hiding the kale. I'm hiding the kale. Do, do I need to chop up any kale? Yeah, why don't you go okay. chop up some kale? How much do we need? Just one leaf? make one leaf. You can leave the stem or you can throw that yeah. one away. Okay. And then how do you want it chopped? Just chop it Just any chop way it. you want. Okay. I love kale. I, you know, I put kale in all my, uh, when I make uh, my ninja blender. <laughs> Right? I yeah. put it in there on my smoothies and whatever. Now, and if you're I'll... making this for the first time for mm -hmm. your kid, just use a little bit of kale because it really makes the applesauce green. Okay. But, you know, once my son started getting used to eating this, uh -huh. then just add more and more kale. Till, I mean, it'll look really green, okay, but so what don't, we... don't go too green for the first Should time. Should I open this because it's starting to boil? Yep. All right. So we, uh, we're we basically, what we're going to do, we're going to add the apple yep. to the boiling water okay. and we're going to get them all soft. Yep. Is that what we're trying add to do? Add the apples in. Okay. You want me to add the kale too, or are we doing that? Uh, let's do the apples for a little bit. Okay. And honestly, I don't even really time this. I just kind of look at it and wait for the apples to be sauced, to be soft. Yeah, that's a sign of a good chef. Not following any instructions. No, I'm not following She's instructions. She's doing her own thing. That's how you got to do. Take control. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, if you don't know how to cook, just 
Go yeah. online, seek your friends. You know, there's a lot of good courses out right. there to help. All right, we're going to get this all uh, softened up. We're going to add the kale. When we come back, we're going to finish doing this Oscar the Grouch applesauce with Mahalani Lani right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here with Mahalani Lani Richardson, and we're making Oscar the Grouch applesauce. Arr. I've never heard of it. <laughs> She's uh, She created it herself, and I'm sure it's going to be very good because your son loves it, right? Yeah, he takes it to preschool for yeah. a snack, and the rest of his classmates eat it miraculously. There's really? There's going to be kale in there, real kale. So uh, you just did a little bit of kale because you want to kind of hide it in there and not mm -hmm. make it so green. Yep, so you want to put some kale in because yeah. we're boiling the apples for maybe a few minutes until they're soft. Okay. You know, you don't really have to time it. Have you, have you uh, thought about bottling this maybe or selling it to, uh, what is it, Mott's applesauce? No, I don't no. think so. But, you know, you can freeze it if you yeah. put it in little jars and if, you know, you put it in the freezer and then you def... What made you think, all right, I'm just going to boil apples and put kale in it? I took a class from Baby Awareness and they were teaching us how to uh, incorporate a lot of kale into your diet. Really? Yeah, because, you know, kale is the queen of greens. Yeah, yeah. I love and kale. And especially for kids. I mean, actually my son hates vegetables. Uh -huh. He will not touch a vegetable. So this is a way to sneak it in there. He doesn't know. Do you use, ever use green apples? Mm, use the ones that are as sweet as possible. Sweet apple, yeah. yeah. I wonder so how it would be Red Delicious is a little sour, but uh -huh. this, you know, these kinds of apples are really good. I wonder if you did like a Fuji pear. Yep, you can add pears in yeah. there. It, you, actually, you can put whatever fruit you want. Mm -hmm. it's, it's applesauce, so there's really no rhyme or reason. Okay, should we strain that? Yeah, go ahead and strain All that. All right, let me, that thing is hot, so. Be careful. You know. I'm glad you're doing it and not me. Well, we don't want to get... I'm a little bit of a disaster in the kitchen we sometimes. We don't have good insurance here, so we uh -oh. want to make sure that I do this. You want to turn that fire off? I will off? turn the fire off. Woo! Here we go. Right. And you know, the one thing about making the kale applesauce or the yeah. Oscar the Grouch applesauce, Lanai, is that if your kid doesn't eat it, then yes. just hide it in something else. So if you make beef stew, uh -huh. put a little inside and it'll sweeten it up and then they'll All be right. eating kale. They won't even know it. So we're going to put this in this pot because yep. this, this is where we're going to uh, uh, actually start blending it. We're going to blend them in here, right? Excellent. All right, I'll put this on the side. And then we just need a hand mixer. You remember this? Can we use this blender? Oh my remember gosh, these? I had not seen those since my mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the name of it is. I think it's called a Hamilton Beach 3-Speed Blender. Anybody remember these? Where'd we should, you get that from? I don't know, but we should give it away. Because it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's antique. <laughs> it is. It's probably worth some money. It'll be in a museum one day. <laughs> All right, so let's put this over here on this side. Okay. So get blended in here. I'll move this knife out of the way. Do you remember what this kind of blender is called? Uh, hand uh, blender? Hand <laughs> blender. Know. Yeah, it's called a hand blender. How do you usually do it if you don't use it? I use a hand blender. Mm -hmm. Yep. I bet you can put it in like one of those ninja, uh, you know, uh, blenders, the kind you make smoothies with. That's what you should do. And you just keep on blending. Sell this to Jamba Juice. I gotta Juice. show this off. All right. I have a feeling this is going to take about an hour and a half. Probably. <laughs> Does it, you, do you usually do it by hand? I usually do it by hand, actually. Actually, you know, you can use one of those, uh, any type of Vitamixer. Uh-huh. Alright. I think it'd be cool if you added honey. Added honey? Yeah. Actually, you know, it's so sweet, you don't need any honey. Oh, it's fine. But, you know, if your kid thinks it's not sweet enough, go ahead and put yeah. some honey in it. Alright, how are we doing? We're doing good. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to bottle this, uh, and yeah, and we're gonna have to do uh, the Oscar the Grouch applesauce chunky today. And when was the last time you actually ate applesauce? Yeah, I don't remember. You know when you uh, used to be in school and they gave you a little push tray, and then you had the compartments. Yeah. That compartment always stayed. With My applesauce. hands are getting sore. You want to do this for a while? Go yeah. ahead. See, that's the power of women. I did it. <laughs> Can you just do this, this for me? I'm getting tired. I think this is the way to do it. Yeah. Oh, right. see, you're doing it much faster. Oh, yeah. We need more power. I think so. You know what? It doesn't look so good, but I'm sure it's going to come out after you. Uh, it almost looks like mashed potatoes, well, it's huh? It's kind of like mashed potatoes. Yeah. But you got to really, really blend it. Okay. And the funny thing is, sometimes I've been blending it. And all of a sudden, the, the apple bit goes, ah! <laughs> so, so it makes it exciting. Yeah. Careful. All right. We're going to get this going, I'm sure. When we come back, look. It's flying already. When we come back, we're going to get it in a bowl and we're going to taste this, all right? Apple, Oscar the Grouch, uh, applesauce with kale.
And we'll be right back with more Cooking Hawaiian Style. Oh, I'm getting a workout on <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Mahalani is hanging out with me today. We are making Oscar the Grouch applesauce. So yeah. this is enough, huh? Right there? Oscar the Grouch applesauce with real kale. The kids are going to eat it. I think this is pretty intelligent of you, I tell you. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, careful! Still, still Ooh, right. very right. hot. All right, so that's what it looks like. Looks pretty. Mm. Looks just like applesauce. I'm gonna put this on the side, and then we're gonna get into your your drink. What is this called? My swamp juice. It's swamp gonna be green. Juice. So just you know, all it is is apple juice. Okay. This is about four cups of apple juice right here. Uh huh. And we have a banana. So uh, do you know the uh, trick to opening a banana? No. Do you what's know how the to trick? Do you know the proper way? To open a banana. There's a proper way of opening yeah. a banana. How would you? Which side would you open the banana? I would go like this. Yeah. See. Do you ever watch a monkey? <gasps> they go the other way. The monkey squeezes, uh -huh. and it see how it splits, and there's no strings attached Ooh. to it. So that just proves to you that monkeys are smarter than humans. <laughs> you don't do it that side. You're doing this. So look, there's no strings. As, as Lanai, much. you've made you made these so. This that? is so provocative. Well, I'm part of the wow. monkey family. <laughs> So, uh, we all know. are. We all are. Okay. <laughs> all right, there you go. Let's throw that in there. That's the only thing I know, by the way. This is the most beautifully peeled banana I have ever seen. Okay, just that. throw that in there. Don't don't know, don't ever uh, say I didn't ever taught you anything. And all you need is just a handful of spinach. Kay. So by the time you're done, your kid is going to be drinking real spinach. Yeah. That's easy peasy. Easy you know what, peasy. You know what's cool about this? I would. Uh, Throw, peel the banana, wrap it in saran wrap, put it in the freezer, and then you, when you put it in the blender, it becomes like ice cream. Oh, yeah. So it's more slushy. All right, good. And you can add other stuff in there, right? Get you some glasses. And so the oh, trick no. is always to tricking your kids. Yes. So you Any like? way you can get them to have vegetables, because, you know, my son just will not eat anything that's green. And so if you give me that cup over there. All right. Use dishes that We're are get one for your kid. yeah. Use dishes that are fun, and you know when you put it in something like this, he actually won't be able to see the color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, such a mean mom. Yeah, yeah, what is it? What are you like a magician? I'm hiding things, yeah, sneaking like, it in there. You're like a magician to your see? kid. See, so when he drinks this, he won't be able to see right. it. Right, and you got to get one of these cups that has little toys. Yeah, and stuff toys. On it. All right, color. let's try this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. You can't taste the spinach, no. right? Yeah. I think you could um, definitely get a job at Jamba Juice. Mm -hmm. Maybe teach them some stuff. Put a stuff. little ice in it. Actually, mm -hmm. you can actually put um, avocado in it to make yeah. it really creamy. You could put yogurt, whatever you want. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's juice. What's your favorite smoothie? Oh, in the world? Yes. Anything with kale. Anything with kale? Anything with kale. Really? Yeah. I'm going to put some of this in a bowl of the applesauce so it doesn't sit here. So that's the applesauce that we made earlier. Yeah. And again, you can freeze that and uh, you can have it like a popsicle too. Okay. Well, we got one more thing to make, don't we? Yes, we are making popcorn. Popcorn. Homemade popcorn. Homemade popcorn. I don't think anyone has ever made homemade popcorn. What do we need for the popcorn? You just need popcorn kernels and it's it's really inexpensive. Yeah. Actually, in Kona, there's these farmers markets that have the um, the the cob, yes, the yes. real cob, uh -huh. and you throw it in the microwave with a brown paper bag, uh -huh. and it is amazing. It's yeah. really fun too. Boy, times have changed because mm -hmm. it used to be that little uh, pan with the thing, and then yeah. you shake it. The on Jiffy, top pop. Of Jiffy, Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop. Wow, you remember? <laughs> you remember the name of Jiffy Pop? So yeah. when we come back, we're gonna do the uh, homemade popcorn, uh, but don't forget the Oscar the Grouch. We'll try that after. All right. Uh, we'll try it all together. The Oscar the Grouch applesauce, and we have the swamp juice, which I guess yeah. You could, it's pretty a, swampy. That's a good name for a swamp It's very juice. swampy. Yeah, this is uh, very refreshing. So uh, don't go anywhere. You can also go to cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Don't forget, we got all these recipes up there for you. When we come back, more with Mahe Alani. We're going to do some homemade popcorn mm -hmm. right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. You got Lanai, Mahe Alani. Richard Sin is hey. hanging out with us. Uh, we made some uh, Oscar the Grouch applesauce. We made some jungle juice. Is it jungle juice? Swamp juice. Swamp juice. Yeah, I made it my own name already. Jungle juice. Very That's from college. <laughs> yes, I don't know Lanai. anything about that. Mm -mm. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> you're making healthy stuff, and you did it because you, of course, you had your kid, and now uh, you're working at Shriners. Yeah. What do you do there? I'm the director of public relations, so I'm telling all of the good stories mm -hmm. about Shriners Hospital and the doctors there. So uh -huh. I've I've learned so much. I've only been there for a few weeks. Yeah. You know how to do like open heart surgery? Uh, not yeah. quite yet. Maybe get physicals? Mm, not yet. No. I'm I'm just doing public relations and doctor oh, okay. referrals and donations and that sort of thing, but. 
I mean, I had no idea that Shriners could actually help kids who have a, you know, like a sports injury. Yeah. Or yeah. if they fall off a bicycle or something like that. Do you think like there's that. more boys there than girls? I'm not sure, but if we're going to do sports injuries, I yeah. bet there's a lot. There, there's probably a lot of boys uh -huh. and girls. Yeah. So, or like I know, you know, if your knees are sore from hula practice, right. you can go there too. Shriners Hospital, beautiful now. It is. Yes. They just had their renovation a few years ago. It is gorgeous, right and uh, there's this whole land to the mount, uh, land to the mountains, to the mm -hmm. to the sky theme. So it's a really beautiful. Are, are you hospital. missing the news at all? You know, I miss the breaking news and I miss my friends mm -hmm. in the news, but I don't miss waking up at 1.30 in the morning oh, for the morning tough. news. Well, it is of, tough. It's a lot I, of bad news too lately. It is, and it, yeah. sometimes it's depressing, but yeah. 18 it's years of the news biz. Good for you. <gasps> That's that makes you, me feel old. Do you speak any pigeon at all? Well, I all, know all of the Rap Replinger skits. <laughs> 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 Please like, don't ask me to do them, like but I know them your, by heart. If you see one of your Titter friends, does it come out? Yes, it, it does. does. Right. It does. Well, we'll try to get it out of her. <laughs> We're going to do your final thing. You're making healthy popcorn. Yep. Did Health you Have you ever eaten healthy popcorn from scratch? No, I haven't. Okay, do we need so more oil in there? Just, oh, yeah. Let's put some oil in there. Okay. A little more oil. This is coconut oil. That This is my favorite oil right now because of it. its health properties. Uh -huh. So I'll add a little more oil. That's really good for you. you. Coconut oil, you can rub it on your face and cook popcorn. Absolutely. Yes. And it's really good for you. Okay. And then just put the kernels in there. All right. I've never done it this way. I don't know if anybody else has. And then what? Should we uh, put it a little Turn bit Turn up higher? the heat. Okay. All and right. I promise you, Lanai, when you have popcorn this way, mm -hmm. you will never want to eat microwave popcorn again. And it takes the exact amount, same in time. Yeah. The, the time, it's not very long Well, at it's all. better to, you know, you shouldn't be using a microwave. Microwave, it's a remote. Look, I cooked everything <laughs> as a kid with a microwave and all my hair is gone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so there's no microwaves in my house. All right. So you know when you eat microwave popcorn, you can taste all of the chemicals and yeah. the stuff that you don't even recognize in there. Not supposed when to. you eat this, this is pure food. Yeah. Just, it's not. It's not processed. I think it's you should open up a uh, little popcorn stand in the movie theater. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Real organic popcorn. Oh, I see popcorn. it. I see it's it. Coming we're, out. we're getting some pops. All right. Yeah, because usually you don't get to see it. You know, I don't think I've ever seen it pop. Yeah, actually. exactly. And the it's thing, it's it's great for kids because they can watch it. Uh -huh. And you know, I let my son around the stove. You have to really be careful with kids and stoves, obviously. But he's aware and he likes to help. So okay. any way that you can involve your kids and make them active in the food that you're making, mm -hmm. th they might want to eat it. You sound like a good mom. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying. You ever get licked as trying. a kid? Yes. <laughs> my mom used to have this thing called the hand. Uh huh. And all she'd have to do is show me the hand. Yeah. And I'm like, my mom, okay. you know, uh, at oh, you no. parties, oh, no. we had this big rice paddle and oh. it said Jesus loves you on top. <laughs> Pai! Anyway. Things are different these yes, days. Yes, they are. We came out all right. My son oh. goes into timeout, so. Timeout. It's good oh, enough. Oh, my goodness. It's working. See, Timeout. I don't know about timeout. My mom used to take timeouts from using the, I love, you know, the Jesus loves you paddle. Were you a good kid? I was a very good rascal? kid. She just used me as an example to my three brothers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this thing's almost done. How many, see, the only thing is you don't know how many more, well, I guess it'll stop popping. Well, you just wait till it stops popping, but. Okay. I yeah, wish we had smell-o-vision. It smells so good. It does, it smells good. What are we gonna add to that when it's done? Well, you can just eat it like this if you want to. You uh -huh. can add whatever you want. You, uh, what we're gonna use is futakake uh -huh. and a little bit of salt. And then the secret is to add a little bit of coconut oil right Ooh, on the after. popcorn okay. and that will almost simulate butter. It's going to have a nutty, buttery flavor. And you won't feel guilty. Exactly. All it's right. good, healthy fat. When we come back, we're going to put this all together and have some of our homemade popcorn with Mahalani. Thank you for joining us on Cooking Hawaiian Style. We'll be right back. Looks good. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Look who's here, Sky. Say hi, Sky. How you doing, Sky? Sky, this is uh, Sky. Is this your mom? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like her. She's cool. Mm. Do you know what we made here today? We, we did some uh, some of your favorite. Oscar the Grouch applesauce. Yes. We made swamp juice and look, popcorn. Yes. You ready for some popcorn? Now we're gonna put this all together. All right. We'll put this mm. all together. Mm. What are we gonna put on this one? All right. Well, we you can put some furikake. Okay. We like to eat furikake. Yes. All right, just oh, throw it on there. Yeah, so just throw it on there. It smells Kake, good. A little salt. Okay. And the secret, can you smell yes. that coconut oil? It smells good. Just put a little more coconut oil All on right. it, and that'll make it just seem it? like butter. Just a little bit. All right. This would be a 
I'm gonna put a couple of. This yeah. would be good for all of you. Your high cholesterol, high blood pressure. <laughs> right here is what you should be doing. Scott, you wanna grab a drink? Here's yours. This is, a good drink. This is yours. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Is this your favorite drink? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good job. Mm, that's very good. Mm -mm. There you go, Scott. I think Just you want some, some popcorn. Is it hot? Good. Mm. All right. Come over to my house anytime. I'll make you some, okay? This will be great for a party. Yes, it would. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming by today. And the applesauce. Don't yes, forget Yes, and that. the applesauce is, is uh, very good. Go ahead. Thanks for coming by today. Hey, thank you, Uncle we'll Lanai. We'll see you next time, okay? Thanks. You want some? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right. We'll oh, see you next Lanai. time. Cooking Hawaiian style. Thank you, Mahaya. Thank you, Sky. We'll see you guys. Join us next time on Cooking Hawaiian style. Aloha. Aloha. Very good.